And now, culture. And already there's a whole generation that never saw one of TV's greatest ever serials, Batman. 120 episodes were screened to a total of 106 countries worldwide, and surprisingly enough, it was actually pretty good. The absurd daring do of Batman and Robin was transferred to a higher plane by irony, wit, action graphics, and the continual challenge facing two grown men in tights. Here's how it looked. <laughs> Think there's something wrong with a crime computer? Something's wrong, all right, but I don't know whether it's a crime computer or me. But everything worked out swell. Wham! We got Pretty Boy, Machine Gun, Mad Dog, Zap! We got Legs and Ma Parker. It was the easiest job we ever did. That's just it, Robin. It was too easy. Why is it taking so long, Batman? Every known fact about Black Widow has been fed into the Bat computer. There were over 3,000 separate cards to collate and analyze. Sorry, Batman. But knowing that that arch villainous may be robbing a Gotham City bank at this very minute bothers me. Bother you? It should. Just as it should bother any red-blooded American citizen who recognizes the law. I installed an odor sensitometer radar circuit. Holy olfactory! Right, Robert. The oil and gas mixture from her motorbike will register on the sensitometer and be picked up as a blip on the radar scope. All we have to do is follow that blip. Ready? Are you Batman? Never readier. <laughs> Pow, zap, holy improbability. That's how the cape crime fighters looked then. But how does a boy wonder look now? Some of us always thought that Robin was the one who had it where it counted, with hefty dialogue to match. Known in real life as Bert Ward, Robin is now ready to reveal his crime fighter secrets to anyone who knows the code catchphrase, holy appearance fee. So let's go by Bat Satellite to the Bat Downlink in Hermosa Beach, California, and say, can you hear me, Bert Wood? Yes, citizen. Hello there, Clive. Here I am, ready to fight crime wherever it rears its ugly head. Bert, do you still get to wear the old Robin outfit these days? Uh, occasionally, Clive, but not too often. Here it is. But uh, I really only wear it for special occasions like uh, grocery shopping or perhaps uh, intimate moments with my wife. Bert, we've just been watching you in action as Robin, and those tights look pretty tight. Well, that's what tights are, Clive. However, mine were heinous in every respect. You see, these tights, uh, man was not built for tights, Clive. And as a result, we had a lot of problems with the tights on Batman. Uh, in fact, Adam called him his sup hose. But uh, my problem was is the uh, Catholic Legion of Decency over here felt I bulged too much in my tights. And uh, in my upcoming book, I have a chapter called To Bulge or Not to Bulge. That is the question. So what did you do about the excessive bulge? Well, as a matter of fact, it was a very serious problem. In the second year of Batman, they were considering taking off the show. ABC Network got hysterical about it after the Catholic Legion of Decency complained. They called 20th Century Fox. They called Greenway Productions. They called me in. And uh, they said, we've got to do something. So they sent the wardrobe guy in with uh, all kinds of things, double underwear, uh, jock straps, penal restraints, testicle crushers. Uh, and finally, nothing worked. But uh, they did find a solution. They found a uh, kind of a strange quack doctor that had these bat pills that he gave me and uh, managed to shrink me up for a couple of hours at a time. What was, the, what was the fans' reaction to you and Adam West at the time you were making the series? Well, I must tell you, Clive, in all seriousness, 
you know, we really played our show to a very broad audience. Uh, for the children, it was uh, hero worship. For the uh, adults, it was the nostalgia of the old comic book. And for the teenagers and college kids, it was the double meanings and the double entendres. And the, you know, we used to say we put on our tights to put on the world. There were times that uh, people would do crazy things. I mean, even, even there in London, there were some children that were watching our show on a, on a very serious note that were jumping out of windows. And we had to do a special sequence that was broadcast there uh, warning the children hey don't do what we do you know we're crime fighters you know you guys kids are growing up but uh, there were some also very very funny things that happened and 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 actually this show was like one giant vacation and if you can imagine during the 1960s during a period of uh, free love uh, doing our show was like a constant wild party uh -huh. did you have Batman and Robin chat up lines to impress the girls no we well you see, when we did personal appearances, uh, Adam is really a wonderful guy. He really is. And he's also even wilder than I am, which is hard to believe. But Adam would uh, autograph uh, 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 fans would come up, and uh, they'd start to ask uh, Adam a question like, oh, hello, Batman, or whatever. And he'd be in costume. And of course, you know, he had the uh, bat insignia there on his chest. And he'd look right at the young ladies, uh, uh, about 18, 19 years old, and he'd say, young lady, would you like to touch my bat? And, uh, of course, I was a little shy and embarrassed, and I'd say, oh, Batman, my goodness, uh, you're getting me excited. I've got steam coming out of the corners of my mask. And Batman would say, and, and I'm beginning to feel strange stirrings in my utility belt. <laughs> you had some pretty tough dialogue to learn, stuff like uh, holy macaroni. How many variations were there uh, on we, we had some, Clive, we had much worse things than that, like, uh, haven't you some anti-ballistic bat flax in your utility belt, Batman? Holy mouthful! Can you imagine saying that? Batman was an action-packed show. Did you use a stunt double? Uh, yes, we had stunt doubles for both uh, Adam and for myself. Um, our stunt doubles were highly trained stuntmen, very professional, but they had a very unusual policy, Clive, on Batman. And that policy was whenever there was anything really dangerous, they always used me. <laughs> and as a result, I was constantly in the hospital. Bert, it's been a pleasure. Can you give us one last message to inspire us in our fight against crime? Don't take life seriously. You don't get out of it alive anyhow. And the best things in life are free. So here I am, good for nothing. <laughs> it's a pleasure, Bert. Thank you very much. To the Batcave! Wowie, Zowie! Wowie G. Willikers! Holy Satellite Broadcast! Zap! Ow! Bip! Bam!